On November 9th, Pitt hosted number 23 Notre Dame at Heinz Field, hoping to improve their record to 5-4. and four. Reese scrambles around in the backfield looking for a receiver and finds Ben Koyak at the pit 25. Very next play, Reese shuffles the ball back to George Atkinson, who rushes to the left and cuts up field for a 14 yard gain. Reese steps back in the pocket, looks right, fires the ball to the Barry's Daniels for a 10 yard touchdown in the first score of the game. James Conner starts the drive off well, rushing for a gain of 8 yards and receiving a pair of passes. One for 11 yards, and the other for 9 yards. This helped lead the Panthers into Notre Dame territory. Savage then finds Tyler Boyd for an 11-yard reception, taking the Panthers into the red zone. Savage then connects with Street for an 11-yard touchdown, tying the game to seven apiece. Reese steps back and finds TJ Jones. After the reception, Jones runs upfield for what appears to be a big play before he gets chased down by Ray Vinopal, who forces a fumble. Lafayette Pitts jumps on the ball, recovering it just shy of the end zone. Although Pitts stopped in this drive, Notre Dame would strike back and take the lead on the next possession, with T.J. Jones redeeming himself with a one-yard rushing touchdown. With 10 minutes left in the third quarter, the Panthers start their march down the field with a six-yard run by Savage. Later on during this same drive, the Panthers would face a third down on the Notre Dame 30. Savage takes a deep shot to Tyler Boyd. The pass falls incomplete. The Panthers would then go for it on fourth down, running a similar play to the one before. Pass interference is called this time, giving them a first down at the Notre Dame 16. Three plays later, Pitt would score with a three-yard rushing touchdown by James Conner. It didn't take very long for Notre Dame to recapture the lead. On the first play of the next drive, Reese completes a pass to a wide-open TJ Jones, who then races Kawan Williams to the end zone for an 80-yard touchdown, giving the Irish a 21-14 lead. Shortly after that, Pitt answers with a score of their own. Savage completes a 63-yard pass to Street, tying the game. In the fourth, Notre Dame is threatening Pitt inside the red zone. Reese rolls to the right and throws a careless pass into the end zone that is picked off by Ray Vinopal. The next Notre Dame drive ends with the same result, a Vinopal interception. This time, Vinopal returns to pick 40 yards to the Notre Dame 5, setting the Panthers up with great field position. The Panthers would then score on a one-yard rushing touchdown by James Conner, his second of the game. That would be the deciding factor in Pitt's 28-21 victory.